Good morning. Good morning. This has been a long time coming. Yes, it has. And it is long overdue. You know, it's never too late to do the right thing. And I'm so proud today to be here in, Scot to Scot in Scottsboro to sign the bill and this resolution to correct the injustices that were carried out against these young men called the Scottsboro Boys. The Scottsboro case has been studied extensively over the years. And all the experts conclude the same thing, that the Scottsboro Boys were wrongly convicted. And obviously they are no longer with us, even though I was proud to sit with one of the sons just a few minutes ago, and, and I'm proud that he's with us today. But we work together on the state level to find a way to let pardons take place and also exonerate all the Scottsboro boys. The results are this bill and this resolution. Some might ask, why is it so important that we give a pardon or exonerate people who have already passed on? But here's my answer. We need to right the wrongs that have been done in the past. Good. We should never ignore our history. It's important to confront our history and secure justice whenever we can. When we look back on our history, we can see how far we have come as a society. And we can look ahead to a brighter future. Just the other day I was in Birmingham and we dedicated a marker to Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. He wrote his letter from the Birmingham jail 50 years ago this week. That's right. And all this year, Birmingham and the state of Alabama, we're celebrating 50 years since several major events took place in the civil rights movement. But Scottsboro was on the forefront of civil rights even before then. <laughs> This case started back in the 1930s. Now, more than 80 years later, we're finally able to stand here today and take this important step. And I thought it was very important to come back to Scottsboro and not do this in Montgomery. We cannot take back what happened but we can make it right by moving forward. And that's why I'm signing this legislation. This is the result of a bipartisan, cooperative effort. And I appreciate everyone who worked together to make this legislation a reality. Senator Arthur Orr, Representative Laura Hall sponsored the pardoning legislation. Representative John Robinson, and Senator Shad McGill sponsored the resolution that formally exonerates the Scottsboro, Scottsboro Boys' name. This also has the support of other legislators from across this area and across our state. I also want to recognize Sheeta Washington. Sheila is the founder of this museum where we're gathered today. And anyone who knows Sheila knows how dedicated she is. It's a beautiful old church that was built by slaves. 
And as I conclude, I'm going to give you a formal commendation that I have signed recognizing your efforts to work in this beautiful museum that we have here today. So I'm going to give you this commendation. 